I am such a fan of this place. I've had so many messy memories here. <laughs> I fell in love here. <laughs> it started like any classic love story. We were on mushrooms. <laughs> and I don't think I'll ever do mushrooms here again. <laughs> New Orleans is spooky when you're sober. Like, it's scary enough. I've seen real estate signs that in all caps say, HAUNTED. <laughs> like, you're very upfront about it. It's like, yeah, this is a one-bedroom apartment, but you won't be alone. <laughs> so we were on mushrooms, and we were trying to make out in my hotel room. Failed miserably. I don't know if anyone else has tried to make out on psychedelics. I had a hard time figuring out whose face belonged to who. <laughs> So we stopped. And in the morning, we discussed our experiences, and I said that I felt like the door was wide open in our room, and there was a third presence, like a third person there. And he said the exact same thing. <laughs> Which means a pervert died in that hotel, <laughs> and his unfinished business was to watch us hook up. And that terrifying realization actually brought us closer together, and that was essentially the beginning of our relationship. So I just want to find that ghost and be like, you can rest now. <laughs> My boyfriend and I just had our two-year anniversary. Yeah. I think we'll give it another two years before we call it quits. It's hard. Relationships are hard. And I know they take a lot of work to be successful and healthy, but I feel like I'm doing most of the work because I'm fixing him. <laughs> and I don't want to be one of these girlfriends that's like, I need to change my man, I need to fix him, because I love him the way he is, but everything he does is wrong, <laughs> and I need to change him. I like for people to take their shoes off when they enter my home. And he does that for the most part. But sometimes he forgets. And I have wood floors and a big rug in the living room. And we were about to leave the house. And he goes, babe, I have my shoes on. But don't worry, I'm standing on the rug. <laughs> and I was like, what logic are we working with? When he saw the wood floors, did he see lava? <laughs> and I explained to him like, no, babe, I don't want people to bring their shoes into my home because I don't want them to track dirt in. That gives me more to clean up. And he looked at me like I was explaining new math. Just, just never occurred to him. And I also can't tell if I'm fixing him for me or for his next girlfriend. Because if we break up, and he starts dating somebody else, he's gonna take his shoes off at the door. And she's gonna be like, he's so clean. He's so conscientious. No, bitch, that was me. I did that. If you feel like you're currently dating Mr. Perfect and he does everything right, you should thank all the exes who came before you for all the hard work they put in. Anything that you see a man do that's considerate, he's doing it because at one point in time, he made a mistake, and then some woman yelled at him. And if you're not laughing, it's because you're currently being yelled at, and you're welcome.